welcome to another episode of Commander Fodder. So, this week's main card, the build around card, is No Quarter. So when I created my virtual pool of six packs of Tempest, this was one of the rares. So no quarter, three in a red, it's enchantment. Whenever any creature blocks or is blocked by a creature with lesser power, destroy the creature with the lesser power. Additionally, in the card pool, there was a wasteland, so I put that in. And there was also a rolling thunder, which is X and two red, it's a sorcery. Rolling Thunder deals X damage, divided any way you choose among any number of target creatures and or player. So they're just in for utility. I've got, at the moment, 36 mountains in here. Obviously artwork from the set. And consequently, to synergize with this, the commander I went with was... Manichi the Fever Dream. So two in a red, it's a one two, it's a legendary creature spirit. One in a red switch each creature's power and toughness until end of turn. So interesting synergy with this, which whenever any creature is blocked or is blocked by a creature with lesser power, destroy the creature with the lesser power. So I, I suspect we're gonna end up with like wall like red creatures, but we'll see. Um, yeah, another mono red deck where I am completely clueless as to where to go with this. I mean, I've got a rough idea and again, you know, part of the fun of this and, and the reason for doing it is to seeing where the algorithm takes us. That is the EDH rec algorithm that's shrink wrapped into uh, Architect. So let us have a look, see we got what we get for some first suggestions. Okay. So how will we proceed? Let's look at some creatures and see what bubbles to the top. So a goblin tunneler. So there'll probably be a lot of these ones where there's some sort of reference maybe to the um the power target creature with power two or less can't be blocked this turn now hmm. see one thing you have to be careful of here when you're spotting when you're swapping power toughness <laughs> you don't want something with a power of zero unless it's providing some sort of utility to other cards and it, you, you have no intention of um, targeting it or you know playing around with uh, with this you've got to find some way of buffing it because uh, Manichi switches each each creature's power and toughness till end of turn so yeah, that's, uh, that can cause problems. Hmm. Decision, decisions, because I know once I start selecting these cards, it's going to really push the 
algorithm in in quite um, an interesting direction so this will be good on some stuff with like double strike and that sort of thing Whenever this player becomes blocked, if any player loses four life. Okay, let's dive in. Let's have a look at some support cards. Switch creatures power and toughness until end of turn. Okay, fair enough. If we could put a fling in there, that would be interesting. Timor Battle Rage. Raging Claws. And an about face. Red, I don't know how chaotic I want to get. I want this. So the modality is quite nice. Go back to creatures and see what's happened as a result of me doing that. This could end up getting destroyed in a sort of tum pit, but uh, it's an interesting support card. That's cool. That's interesting. Yeah, it's this is a funny deck, isn't it? Like cards that aren't always seen as as any good now sometimes take on a new. Uh, like a new role. So I've got to face this looting in here seeing as we're playing red. Breaks through the line. Actually, let's change the view to stacks. 
Eight instants, couple of sorceries. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, blasphemous act, I don't that would be good. And Vandal Blast, just some interesting utility here. Some cool red removal spells here. We should get some draw. Do I want to play? Let's see where that takes me. A wheel of misfortune. Oh, sad. That's not just because of the sacrifice of a creature. Damage equal to the sacrifice of creature's power. Now, how easy is that to pull off? Maybe I'll come back to those. Okay, so moving on to our artifacts. Soul Ring. We are in mono red. Fire Diamond. Play Burnished Heart. Should probably play what's heraldic banner there. I'm not sure if I saw it. Seeing as I'm playing mono red. Hmm. That's interesting. It doesn't suggest it. Oh, I just play that. <laughs> it looks cool. Um, okay. So enchantments. Hmm. Break through the line, city on fire. Yeah, I'm just going to go for maximum damage here. Mm 
And he's walker wise. Cough. So, so we've still got 20 more creatures to add. Before I do that, I think I'm going to have a look at the land because I always tend to forget. So yeah, I'm going to do Rogue's Passage, Power, Three on this card. Play Valakut. <laughs> also, wouldn't mind playing Terrain Generator. That's always interesting in a mono color deck. go for those so I need to reduce this so we get down to about 37 36 yep and now we're just piling our creatures so I think we've got everything else we need So I'm assuming the idea with this is you, if I'm correct here, <laughs> and you know me, I sometimes get things wrong. So I'm assuming if we activate this on a creature while its power is still low and then switch it using Manichi's power and toughness, Technically, it's still unblockable because the unblockability occurs before we switch that. So, I'm, yeah, I'm unsure about that. Um, I'm assuming because these are coming up, that's how it it is dealt with in the rules. Hmm. Well, there we go. The power of the targeted creature is checked bef as you target it and as the ability resolves. After the ability resolves, the creature can't be blocked that turn, even if it's... Okay, so that's good. Right. So, yes, please. I had a feeling with something like that, but it's always nice to re re read it. Uh, on the card. Interesting.
Yeah, I can imagine this being quite complicated in some instances to get combinations of things right. Um, clearly, you've got to be careful with some of these cards where you, you obviously don't want to get, you know, yeah, you need to have stuff in play that would fall into this category before you activate um, the commander's ability. And so you do have to really think quite a bit. Keep just doing this so I get it to lock in better each time. Okay. Lots of complicated conditional stuff here as well you'd have to be mindful of. Hmm. Silent Arbiter would be interesting. Set card, I don't know. I've actually got with Defender, that's the only thing. Hmm. It'd be an interesting control card. Put a bit of fun stuff in as well. Oh, we're over the top. What does our curve look like? And I'll decide what I want to cut. Okay. Well, I think I can afford to. Cut that. 28 creatures, 8 instants, planeswalker, 9 sorceries. <sighs> Quite a lot of artifacts. 
spot. Yeah, the car's good there. And this is good. So's that. Turn four cost three. Where do we this is pretty good actually. So yeah, we don't get to above four mana until here. Okay, so this should be very playable. But it's just some complicated interactions. That's the only trouble. So another deck where really yeah, it requires a lot of thought to build and tweak really. I mean this is probably a good starting point. I'm not gonna mess around with the artwork too much here. There's some cards I might want to change out. Price wise not too egregious. There's probably some artifacts I could lose to bring it down. Creatures, what's that roughly two dollars or less per creature roughly? Dollar or less in instance. I've got some expensive sorceries here and some that haven't come up because it's just the choice of card. Oh the yeah the Vandal Blast. Okay. We could always take that out if we wanted. Right. Let us see how this plays out. So the play tester. One drop. Well, let's just keep it, see what happens. So we can play our slag armor. But we are now stuck. Because we can't play this till turn two. Oh. So we're one turn behind. And we now have three mana on board. So what do we want to do? Well, we can get that out. We could also get our commander out. But I'm assuming we really want to protect it. That's the only thing. Yep. So that's cast of all. Now we're a little stuck. This is the point I probably want to play a tormenting voice and what discard. We can vote this. No, no, too high. Or you discard that, or that. But let's just see. Oh, so we get a myriad. Okay. It's helpful. We can crack that. Let's just see what is castable without cracking anything, just out of curiosity. Oh, there's our no quarter. That, if you remember, was a four drop, so that's playable now. I would really want something to protect my commander, though. Oh, we're getting some interesting support cards out. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's try another hand. So two mountains, that's good. Get that out. <laughs> okay. This looks like fun. Oh, tormenting voice again, so we can card draw cards. It's playable. And just, uh, well, maybe I'll put that anyway, just to remind me that it is playable. Yeah, so as you've seen with the deck, I mean, if we've got four land out, a, a huge quantity of our deck is playable with just four land. And we've got a number of cards here which we can crack to, uh, to, do, to help us. So, yeah. Oh, there's a bolt. What else? Okay. So. No trouble so far. However. We could be a bit stuck now. Yeah, now we are stuck. Till now, good. Okay. Do we have any two drops? We do have an arcane signet. Okay. Again, we've got a tormenting voice. Tormenting voice seems to crop up what, twice now, so we do have a, at least something that might help us. A bit of card draw if we really get into a position, which is probably now. Let's just crack that. Scald. Okay. And that's folks why it is important where you play, when you play your uh, tormenting voice because you may end up having to discard if you still don't get a great hand because of course you just used up your mana and haven't don't have any spare mana so Position. Oh, we have a war room. So maybe it's everything that's all castable. So is this. This isn't. This is. This is. Okay. Let's just have a look at the rest of the hand. Boom. Solving. Nice. Yeah, so we could cast that. Let's cast a ball.
soon. Good. these things making them cheaper to cast. Excellent. Oops, I forgot to play my turn one slag armor there actually. Slag worm armor. So I can do that. If I wanted to hmm. interesting. Okay. So yeah, this would need a little bit of thought, I think, and tweaking. Um, somewhat deadly, as always. <laughs> I'm just trying to work out whether I want to take out some of the more higher casting cost stuff. There are a few instances where I did end up with stuff stuck in my hand, but... Shouldn't be a major problem. Yep, okay, there we go. So thanks once again for watching. Bye for now, and I'll catch you in a future episode.